liquid culture. This technique is used widely in mushroom cultivation to expand out desirable genetics or as a starting point for your mushroom grows. I use LC to inoculate almost all my grain spawn since it's easy to make a large amount of it and it colonizes the grain rapidly. The liquid in liquid culture is a solution of water and sugars for the mushroom mycelium to feed on. Common sources of sugar to use include corn syrup, honey, light malt extract, and dextrose powder. Whatever sugar is used, the important thing is that you end up with around a 4% sugar concentration by weight. In this recipe, I'll be using a combination of corn syrup and light malt extract as my sugar source. I'll start by adding 500 milliliters of water into a clean mason jar. Next, I'll add 20 grams of corn syrup to the water. Then, I'll add one gram of light malt extract, which is a little over a quarter of a teaspoon. And finally, I'll add a gram of peptone, which is optional, but gives the liquid culture key nutrients and amino acids for the mycelium to thrive. I'll mix this up real good with a whisk. Then add a liquid culture lid with a filter and a self-healing injection port to the jar. For liquid culture, I recommend using PTFE syringe filters and rubber self-healing injection ports rather than making your own, as I usually do for things like grain spawn. You can purchase these filters and injection ports in bulk, then drill holes in your mason jar lid and fit them with high temp RTV silicone, or you can just buy the lids with the filters and the injection ports already installed. Now that we have our solution prepared, it has to be pressure sterilized at 15 psi for 30 minutes for it to be viable to support mushroom culture. Here I'm using a Presto 23 quart pressure cooker. I'll add the bottom plate, then add my liquid culture. I'll then add 3 quarts of water, put the lid on top, and turn on my stove to high. I'll then wait until I see a steady flow of steam coming out of the blow-off valve before adding the weight. This pressure cooker usually takes between 15 and 30 minutes to get up to 15 psi. Once we're there, I'll set a timer for 30 minutes. This LC has now been cooking at 15 psi for 30 minutes, so I'll just turn off my stove and let the pressure drop down to zero. Once the pressure cooker is cool enough to open, I'll take out the jar and tighten down the lid, since plastic lids tend to get loose during the sterilization process. After the jar reaches room temperature, it's ready for inoculation. I'll be using my still air box, so I'll set it up by adding a towel soaked in diluted bleach to the bottom, sanitizing the box in my LC jar with 70% isopropyl alcohol, adding the jar to the working area and the box on top, and letting it sit for 10 minutes to let the air settle before proceeding. Here I'm expanding out a cordyceps liquid culture syringe, but you can also use an agar wedge or even fresh mushroom tissue to inoculate your liquid culture. I'm inoculating some agar dishes while I have my still air box set up, but pay no mind to those for this video. I've sterilized this LC syringe with ISO, so I'll just add a new sterile needle to it, poke it through the self-healing injection port, and inject around 2 milliliters of culture. Since we have a self-healing injection port, you can simply inoculate your LC jar with a syringe in a clean room with little to no airflow. If you have a still air box or a laminar flow hood though, it's a good idea to use it as an extra precaution. Now this LC just has to be agitated daily by swirling it around. This is the jar right after inoculation. The white stuff floating around in there is the mycelium that was transferred from the syringe to the jar. Cordyceps colonizes liquid culture really aggressively, so after just two days it looks like this. And four days later, it looks like this, which is the stage I like to use it at for cordyceps. Most other species of mushrooms will take between two and four weeks to reach full colonization. You know it's ready to go when you have a pretty thick and even distribution of mycelium throughout the liquid. To use it, plunge an 
empty syringe with a new or flame sterilized needle into the self-healing injection port and draw out the liquid. This should again be done in as sterile of conditions as possible, preferably in a still air box or flow hood. This syringe can then be used to inoculate grain jars or to expand out more liquid culture. If you try this recipe out, let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching.